Hi there chickens, good to see you again. I'm Vanilla Chief and today we are learning how to spray paint space art. I'm so glad you stumbled upon this here channel because you're now watching Skill Sanctum. So you've probably seen spray painted space art at some point. I see these masterpieces all over the internet. But if you're here because you like to learn how to make these creations for yourself, then you're in the right place. The first time I saw this, I thought there was no way that I could paint something like that, but then I learned the process. And it's actually quite easy because I once taught the process to elementary children and they picked it up like that, no problem. So if you're scared and you think this may be too difficult for you, don't be intimidated. It's easier than you think. Don't be chicken chicken. So let's dive right in and go over what you need for this project and then we'll look at how it's made and how to actually paint it. So here is the list of some of the items that you are going to need. Obviously you're gonna need spray paint and honestly you get what you pay for. So cheap dollar paint brands like um, Color Spray will work but they're not gonna do as good of a job as the more high quality expensive brands like Krylon or Rust-Oleum. Then you'll obviously need something to paint on. Some people use a poster board but most people tend to use a frameless canvas. I personally think the paint shows up better on a canvas so that's typically what I use. To make your planets you're going to need some kind of circle shaped open containers like bowls or cups of multiple sizes depending on how big or small you want your planets to be. Plastic usually works the best just make sure that whatever you use has a flat narrow edge so that the circumference of your planets come out correctly. And then you'll also need either a plastic bag, a magazine or a newspaper, basically something to give your planet its texture and its design. Any material is fine really, it just depends on how you want your planets to look. And then if you're fragile and sensitive, you'll probably prefer protective equipment like gloves, uh, eyeglasses and a breathing mask to protect your baby skin from the paint and the toxic fumes. All right chickens, now you know the basic necessities of what you're gonna need. Now let's head out into the field and paint ourselves an out of this world creation. All right chickens, so there are three basic steps to this process. First step is you're gonna do your planets, you're gonna let it dry. Second step, you're gonna do your lighting, uh, your shading and your highlights. And then step three, you're going to after you let it dry again, you're going to do your outer space, let it dry, and then you have your masterpiece. So let's start with step one, our planets. So you're going to pick what size containers you want, and then you're going to put them where you want them, obviously. So now I'm going to take a little bit of black, or it doesn't really matter what color, you can also use a pencil, and just lightly mist around your containers just so you have a good idea of where your planets are going to be. So there I have my bigger planet and there I have my smaller planet. So now we decide what colors we want our planets. So this one I want it to look more like Earth so I'm gonna do blue, green and then white over it for the clouds. For this one I'm gonna do like black and white for like a moon. So I'm gonna start with this one see I'm gonna start off with some blue and then I'm going to cover the entire planet in white and that's typically what you want to do you want to uh, cover your whole planet in white last after you do your colors then I'm going to take my material which I'm using a plastic bag and I'm going to lay it over my planet to give it its texture. That looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more white because I'd like to see a little bit more clouds in there. Alright, that looks pretty cool. I actually forgot the green, but you know what? That looks cool as it is. So I'm going to leave it like that. So now I'm going to move on to my moon. So first thing I'm going to use is obviously black. Now I'm going to spray it with white and then add our texture.
we have completed step one we're done with planets now we're gonna let it dry and then we'll step move over to step two which is our shading and our highlights all right our paint has dried now we're gonna move on to step two the shading and the highlights so I'm just gonna grab my containers and put them right back over my planets there we go and I'm gonna take some more black paint or whatever color and do the same thing we did in the beginning just lightly mist around your containers so that you know where your planets are going to be then I'm gonna take these containers back off now I know where my planets are so I'm gonna start with shading so depending on where you want your light source coming from in this case I'm gonna have my light source coming from the top left corner so I know my shading needs to be on the bottom right corner of my planets and the highlights need to be on the top all right so let's just shade this bottom edge now I'm gonna do our highlights all right there we go now we're gonna do the same thing with step two we're just gonna or step one we're just gonna let it dry some professional speed up the drying process with fire but um, we're not gonna do that in this video. We're gonna let it dry the old fashioned way. Our paint is dry. Now we're gonna move on to step three, out of space, the final step. So I'm gonna take my containers and put them back over my planets and put them back over as perfectly as possible. All right, looks good. Now we are going to take our black paint and we are going to paint the entire canvas black. There's our outer space. Now let's add flex and stars. I'm gonna add some purple. dark blue some light blue some white and there we go and now I am going to add our stars and there are two ways you can add stars either spray your glove and flick stars on like that or if you have a nozzle like this then you can gently press down on the nozzle until it squirts out paint rather than sprays out paint so I'm gonna try that And you don't have to do this, but if you would like to add a light source, basically all you need is a cutting board or a piece of cardstock paper, uh, basically something you can spray paint against. So I want my light source coming from here, so I'm just going to put my board like this and spray against the board with white spray paint and it'll give me the look I'm looking for. Just be careful that when you do this, you don't let your paint drip off. All right, we have our planets, we have our light source, we have our stars, we have our flicks. Now let's remove our planets and see what it looks like. There's one planet, looks pretty cool. Here's our second planet, looks pretty cool as well. Alright, now we just let it dry and then our masterpiece is complete. Alright, our paint is dry and our masterpiece is finished. This one definitely turned out different than uh, any other one that I've done before. 
it's a little bit more messy and chaotic but that's okay because space is messy and crazy I will say that um, black rust-oleum paint is very strong so if you don't want the black to overtake some of your other colors like it kind of did in this one I wouldn't use rust-oleum black I would use say Krylon which I should have used but oh well I think it looks pretty cool anyway so let's bring this one outside and get a better look in direct natural light So that's basically how you do it chickens. Just make sure that when you do it, you do it outside or in a well ventilated area because the paint is toxic. And spray paint, like all paint, looks the best in natural light. Under artificial light, the little details of your masterpiece may not be as easy to see, especially because of all the black paint you use and the artificial light may cause a glare on the canvas. And also one word of advice, don't leave your spray paint outside. I once left my paint outside for a few days thinking it would be fine, even though the warning labels told me not to and to keep it in a controlled environment. Um, I left it outside in the radical changing weather and when I came back a few days later, all the paint was ruined. So just make sure not to leave your paint outside. Anyway, tips aside, I hope you learned a lot from this video and realized just how easy it is to make these awesome creations. These make great Christmas presents or activity projects, or you can use them simply to amaze your fellow chickens with your radical new autistic abilities. Well, chickens, I hope your skills have been enhanced, your wisdom deepened, and your curiosity tickled. Until next time, I'm Vanilla Chief, and you just watched an episode of Skill Sanctum. I'll see you, chickens.